गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वील शेयर अवेलेबल प्रैक्टिकल वीडियो फॉर यू जी एंड पी जी स्टूडेंट्स इन केमिस्ट्री इन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल हॉट स्पॉट केमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर अनिल कुमार एंड एंड द प्रैक्टिकल वीडियो टॉपिक इज इस्टिमेशन ऑफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड सोडियम कार्बोनेट मिक्सचर प्रजेंट टूगेदर इन ए मिक्सचर विथ एक्सलराइज एसियल now what is the aim behind the experiment is that is the estimation of sodium hydroxide anywhere plus sodium carbonate and na2co3 present together in a mixture with crystallized hcl first of all uh, in this case we just we, we have to take the solution which contains a mixture of two bases that is naoh and sodium carbonate that is na2co3 that is the alkali mixture titrating, titrating against crystallized hcl now The the reaction the reaction method is a double indicator method. That is, we have to use two indicator. That is, number one is phenolphthalein and number two is methyl orange. Now, these two indicators show color change at different pH range. Phenolphthalein that is eight point two to ten point zero and methyl orange that is three point two to four point four. The the reactions governing in this uh, in this titration. That is between the reaction of sodium hydroxide with HCl in, in a single step. That is, NaOH reacts with HCl; it gives NaCl plus water molecule. And the second reaction is reaction of sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3 with HCl in a double step process. That is, Na2CO3 plus HCl it gives NaCl3 plus NaCl. That is equation one. And sodium bicarbonate that is NaCl3 reacts with HCl; it gives NaCl plus water plus CO2. Uh, in this case, we have to use the two indicators. That is one is phenolphthalein and other is methyl orange. First of all, first one indicator of phenolphthalein is added in a solution, which becomes pink in color after reacting it, and it becomes colorless. Number second, after changing the color, second indicator that is methyl orange is added in a solution, and it becomes yellow in color. <laughs> and after reacting, it becomes orange to red. And it is that is the end point of the reaction. A remark should be there: we do not use both of the indicator at the same time. What are the different procedures during the reaction? Number one, first of all, fill up the burette with standardized HCl solution. Number two, pipette out 10 ml of mixed alkali solution in titrating flask. Number third, add one two drops of phenolphthalein indicator in it, and then solution becomes pink. Number four, titrate it against a standard HCl solution containing in burette. At the end point, first first step solution becomes colorless. Number six is now add one two drops of methyl orange indicator in same colorless alkali solution, which becomes yellow in color. Now seven, now again titrate it against a standard HCl solution containing in burette. Number eight, at the end point of last step solution changes its color yellow to orange to red. Note: All the apparatus should be clean and use both indicator in same alkali solution. Now, the practical video which we have uh, conducted with our UGPG student is attached in this video and looks like this. We will perform a new experiment, which is very helpful for UGPG students, and the name of the experiment is estimation of NOH. And any two CO three in a mixture of the two. Mm. Now, uh, this is L by five HCl is added into the burette in this way. Up to which I know. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Which I know. It is maintained up to zero. Any bubble should be avoided. No problem. See the zero level is where? Where is zero level? So see, take a white sheet, white sheet, beyond this.
Is it correct? No. Tell me. No. Is it correct? One and two. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. Then we start. We take ten ml mix solution. We take ten ml mix solution of this unit and add ten ml up to this mark. You suck it. Suck it. Ten ml. Okay. Okay. Okay, once more, once more. Okay, just exact. You transfer this into this. Open your finger. Now the whole mixture is transferred. That is the mixed alkali solution is transferred into the conical flask. Now this is for start for titration, and in this one drop. Of phenolphthalein, and you should just add one drop of phenolphthalein. Just one drop. Just one drop, one drop. Okay. Now this is set. Okay. Now we have to start titration and see the different color. Now we put in this way. We titrate and we see the color. What type of color it will come? Colorless. Colorless. Now we. Uh, pinch the pinch uh, pinch part and drop by drop start titration till it will colorless drop by drop we will see at what point it it becomes colorless it will take some time. Drop by drop. Some time nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Try fitting by drop by drop solution uh, as well as this solution, this other solution. Now, now just see the color. I have one or two drops the color will have this. Just see the miracle. More colorless. Now it's more colorless, this is colorless. Okay. This is the colorless solution. Oh. Okay, you know this one? Or one to two drop. The right down the point. Not the top. Now the point is kitna? How much? It is 19.20.1. You write down this is the 20.1. The, the solution it becomes colorless at the point and uh, 20.1. You write down the 20.1. This is methyl oil. Eh? We just uh, one two drop of methyl oil will be added into this conical first. One, two, three. Okay, in this way. And again, it started with titration. Then the, the point in here about 20, 20.1. Now again, we start titrating in this way. Drop by drop. Drop by drop. 
What type of color can you show? Orange red. Orange red. Then the whole title is done. Then after further calculation, who will be calculate what are the different percentage of NUH and NUTO CO3. Drop by drop, drop by drop, drop by drop, drop by drop. We started calculation. Now I stop, now I add draw, pipe, draw, pipe, draw. Color comes. Hmm? This is just orange red. Orange change it into red. And see the uh, what at uh, right point it comes. You just see the uh, see the value. Reading is nearer near about thirty one point four. You write under thirty one point four, and you repeat this experiment twice or four times, and then further started calculation. And you see this type of uh, this type of reading may come, and in calculation we will. Uh, we'll calculate the different composition of NUH and NU2CO3 limits. Now, what are, uh, how we, what are the observation table? In observation table, we have to take the number one is observation number, number second is volume of mixed alkali solution in ml, and period reading of 0 0.2 normal excess solution in ml. And we have used phenolphthalein as indicator and methyl orange as indicator. Now, but there are, we have conducted four to five times reading and, and uh, repeated the experiment and we got the concurrent reading. And the different uh, observation pilot number one is we have used mixed alkali solution in 10 ml, buried reading up to 0 0.9 normal ml. In phenolphthalic indicator, it is 0 0.002, 0, 0 0.00, and final is 21.0, and the difference is 21.0. Second, Again, 0 0.1 ml, which is 20.1, and the difference is 20.1. In this way, four to five times we have conducted with the phenolphthalein indicator. And in the same time, we used another indicator, the methyl orange indi indicator, and the value of initial is 21.0, and the final rating is 30.20, and the, the difference is 11.0. Same time, in this way, we have uh, conducted so, so uh, different types of experiment in different steps, and the concurrent reading for using the phenolphthalein indicator, the value is 20.1, and using the methyl orange indicator, the concurrent reading that is VM, that is equal to 10.3 ml. Now, in the calculation part, how will you calculate the value of V1? So, in this case, V1 ml 0.2 normal HCl is required for complete neutralization of NOH and, and half neutralization of Na2CO3. That is, V1 is equal to volume of HCl reacting with whole NOH. And with half Na2CO3 minus volume of HCl reacting remaining half Na2CO3. That is V1 is equal to Vp minus Vm. That is uh, from the observation table, the value of V1 is 20.1 ml and Vm, the value of Vm is 10.3 ml. And so after, calcul after uh, calculating the value with the using the equation V1 is equal to Vp minus Vm and the value of V1 is 9.8 ml. Now the calculation of V2, I will calculate the value V2. That is V2 ml, 0 0.2 normal HCl is required for complete neutralization of Na2CO3. That is V2 is equal to 2 into volume of HCl reacting remaining half Na2CO3. That is V2 is equal to 2 into Vm. And the putting the value of Vm from the observation table, that is Vm is equal to 10.3. Therefore, V2 is equal to 2 into 10.3 ml. And the after calculating the value of V2 is 20.6 ml. Now, how you calculate the amount of NH? So, that is 1000 ml, one normal HCl is equal to 14 gram NH, that is equivalent weight is equal to 40. Therefore, 9.8 ml, 0.2 normal HCl is equal to 9.8 into 0.2 into 40 divided by 1000 into 1. That is equal to 0.07 gram NH. Since 
10 ml diluted solution is equal to 0.07 gram annual therefore in 100 ml diluted solution to 0.078 into 100 that is equal to 0 0.78 annual calculating the amount of annual co2 since 1000 ml in normal one ml is 15 gram annual to co3 therefore 2.6 ml 0.1 normal is 20.6 into 0 0.2 into 53 divided by 1000 into 1 that is equal to 0 0.21 gram annual to co3 since 10 ml diluted solution is 0 0.21 gram annual to co3 therefore 100 ml diluted solution gives 2.1 gram annual to co3 now the in the then the result table that is the the titration rating with phenolphthalein that is BP is equal to 20.1 ml. Titrating rating with methyl oil that is BM is equal to 10.3 ml. Amount of NOH in the given solution is equal to 0 0.78 ml. And amount of NO2 CO3 in the given solution is equal to 2.18 ml. We have uh, uh, completed this experiment to our UG PG student like Abhishek Kanan, Surya Prakar, Devak Kumar, Ankit Kumar Tati, Deepika Kumari, Kushi Kumari, Rajal Murmu, Mohammad Abdul, Mohammad Gusha Masrab, Nitin Kumar Mandal, Prenka Kumari, Raj Kumar Mato, Ravi Kumar Sama, Richa Bharti, Risha Bharti, Subham Kumar. All these students are very actively which, uh, completed the experiment. Within two or three times, they have performed this experiment to get the best result. And the students are directed to perform their experiment precisely so that they can get maximum marks in the coming exam and satisfy the external who takes exams in practical. Hope you have enjoyed this uh, practical. Uh, thank you. Please subscribe, share, and comment on the YouTube channel that is Hot Spot Chemistry by Dr. Anupama. We say good luck in the coming exam. And in the next day, new video will be there in chemistry with different topics. So, thank you. Best of luck.